All right, so I want to show you a couple products. These are the grass seeds that I got. Um, this is the Black Beauty Ultra. And this is the one that I got from my yard. And then this is the Scott's Lawn Thickener, meant for overseeding or a thicker lawn. Uh, and this is the Sunshade Mix. And this is the Tall Fescue Mix. Now the tall fescue mix is only three types of tall fescue. And in this 40 pound bag, it's about 20% seed. So we're talking about 10 pounds of seed in this bag. This is a 25 pound bag of seed. This cost me about $100. This cost me $50. This has the fertilizer built in, as well as soil improvers that uh, include gypsum, chicken poop, feather meal, uh, to help improve the soil. And it also has a 911 fertilizer. Same as this one. The fertilizers are the same in these. This one, the sun and shade, is uh, mostly perennial ryegrass, but it has some fine fescue and some bluegrass in the mix. And uh, if we flip it over, I don't know if you can see, but we've got about 60% of the seed is uh, perennial rye. About 40% is, uh, or 50%, closer to 50% of it is the red fescue. And that leaves another 10% for bluegrass. And that's the mix there. So with this one, you only get about 10% of the whole mix is uh, seed, because they're smaller seeds than the fescue. So this bag has uh, 10 pounds, sorry, five pounds approximately of seed. And the other 35 pounds are fertilizer, the fertilizer blend. This is 10 pounds. So it's about half as much as this. If you want to use this kind of a mix that already has the fertilizer and uh, the lawn, the soil improver, gypsum and bird, uh, chicken poop and whatever mixed in, uh, this is only about, this is supposed to cover about 40, uh, 4,000 square feet. My lawn is about 8,000 square feet. So I could mix these two and cover my entire lawn evenly and it would be a great uh pers like great mix and it'd be about the same blend of seed mixes as black beauty ultra the black beauty ultra is about we got 30 20 20 so you're talking about um 50 50 70 uh, percent fescue 70 percent fescue 20 percent ryegrass 10% bluegrass, which is pretty much exactly the same as if you mixed these two together. This is $100, not including fertilizer or soil, whatever. So it's supposed to be a higher quality seed um, than these. These potentially have more weed seeds. If you look at and other crop seed, if you look at the uh, other crop seed, it's about 0.06%, 0.01% weed seed. So they're pretty on par in that regard. So if you wanna be a little bit um, more cost effective, get these two bags. This is actually, I should say, this is meant to, this is 25 pounds, meant to cover um, 10,000 square feet of lawn. So this does get more seed to cover more square footage in the Black Beauty than these two. So you get 8,000 8, square feet. You're getting about 15 pounds of seed total. This is 10,000 square feet, 25 pounds. They're pretty on par. But if you wanna be take the easier route, don't put that much effort into getting gypsum separately, which is gonna bump up the cost more getting a separate fertilizer, 
this is good but because all of these bags have some percent of weed seeds which tend to be pretty small they're uh probably gonna come up when you put the seed down um so the recommendation from other people that i've seen is spray tenacity on top of the seed after you put it down and it will act as a pre-emergent any weeds that do germinate they will start to uh, turn white and die out as soon as they pop up instead of waiting until later to, to um, spray after you seed so uh, Scott's seed is decent it's not bad cost wise effort wise take these two bags throw them in a wheelbarrow or a bucket mix them really good together before you put them in your spreader you get about the same mix as in the back beauty ultra as far as grass types um, but the specific called to vars technical term are going to be a little different because the scots ones are patented ones um, and uh, jonathan green has their own uh, proprietary mix um, that they've developed crossbred over years so uh, you could do either one and those are a couple options for seeding and of course there's other ways something i should mention because these are meant for overseeding uh, if you have a lot of like dead spots or not just dead spots but like if you have a lot of uh, bald spots just dirt you're probably going to want to go with a different uh seed mix one that also has cover or you want to get like peat moss or something separately to cover it up so that it uh it will uh stay covered and germinate or topsoil and get a separate seed mix for that area meant for patching or something but if you've got a decently thick lawn but you want it a little bit thicker just for overseeding, these are seem like a pretty good option. I'm gonna try them out on my in-laws and my parents' lawn um, because my uh, in-laws are not really big lawn people, neither is my, my parents, but they need something a little bit more um, easy maintenance. So uh, I might mix these and split them up and they only need their front yards done so um, just need half the bag and we'll see what happens i'll let you know how these scots ones do and i'll let you know how the the black beauty does uh, this is a bit longer of a video than i usually post on instagram so i hope you enjoy it and learn something and uh, stay tuned for more so I'm here at Menards waiting to pick up some topsoil and while I'm waiting I figured I will answer a potential couple questions that you guys might have had from my last video post. Uh, what's the difference between tall fescue, fine fescue, perennial rye, bluegrass? Uh, well, in general, if you want to cut your tall, your lawn tall, if uh, you um, have thick blades of grass most likely you have tall fescue um, so if you want to uh, keep it tall keep it dense fall uh, tall fescue or a tall fescue blend uh, will be good for you if most of your blades are on the thinner side like an eighth of an inch or close to an eighth of an inch or less um, you probably have like a sunshade mix like a perennial ryegrass or a bluegrass mix uh, so if you have finer grasses or you want to cut your lawn short, like two inches short or so, um, then you want to go with a sunshade mix or a bluegrass, perennial ryegrass mix. Um, I want a thicker, denser and uh, lawn and my front yard is predominantly already tall fescue and I want it to blend well in the spots that don't have any tall fescue. So that's why I'm going with a tall fescue mix like Black Beauty to even out the tall fescue throughout the whole lawn, make it look even and uh, um, 
but if your lawn's already uh, doesn't have any tall fescue or like it's all fine blade black grasses throughout you can go with the sunshade mix um, and not use any tall fescue you can get two bags of that sunshade mix if you want uh, and go for that um, so that's one question and the other question that uh, you might ask is uh, no, I can't think of another question right now. I, I had one on my mind, but I can't remember what it was. So that's uh, if you are confused about the grass types and uh, don't know which one to go with. That's the answer to that question. If I remember the other question, I'll let you know. So I just got back from picking up topsoil. I got 20 bags of topsoil. I hope that's going to be enough for my front yard. Um, I don't know. Looks like it might not be, but I'm only planning to put like a very light dusting on top of the seed after I put it down. So I also got slow release nitrogen fertilizer. It's Menard's version of Melorganite, which uh, if you look at what it has in it, it doesn't seem to have as much iron as Melorganite does, but it has some iron. And I'm hoping that that's gonna be enough for now. I was considering getting ironite to, to supplement the iron, um, but we'll see what it does first before I go and get that too. Uh, it's a little warmer today. I also got a bag of starter fertilizer. The starter fertilizer is very high in phosphorus, which uh, you should only really put down when you're seeding or putting down sod. It really helps the roots to go down more. Um, and it's a lot higher in nitrogen content than the natural stuff. This stuff is only about 4%. It has a 4-3-0, I believe, um, formulation. Yes, it's got 4-3-0 and only one and a half percent iron. I think more than I might be 4% iron or maybe it's only one and a half. I don't remember. I uh, threw away my last bag of Melorganite, but this stuff is about half the co half the price of Melorganite is running for at Home Depot. It's running about uh, 16 bucks, and this is about eight or nine dollars. Um, eight with the rebate that they have going on. Um, and I'm gonna wait. So I'm gonna put down a bag of the natural stuff. This is good for 2,500 square feet, which is about the size of my front one. I'll put one bag down when I seed. Now I'll wait for a while. The other is gonna go in my backyard later. Um, and then a couple weeks after seeding, I'll put down the starter fertilizer, uh, which I don't wanna put down right away because it has a lot of nitrogen and I don't want the other grasses around growing so fast that they, uh, block the new uh, seed and prevent it from growing too so i'm only going to put the very slow release low nitrogen stuff for now and uh see how that goes but uh that's the plan later today i'm going to do the uh second uh or the, i'm going to do the scarifying first first pass of scarifying the front lawn and that's going to start digging out some trenches I'll do a little bit of leveling with some other soil that I have, not this good stuff. This stuff's just going to go right on top. Um, and I'll let you know what happens from then or when I start doing it anyways. And I'm hoping, oof, I'm sweating. I'm hoping to uh, get this done, uh, get the ground ready today to seed tomorrow. <laughs>